Hello everyone, I'm James Ru from Dinstar. And in last session, I gave you the overview of the our digital gateway and introduced the, all the uh, features from the GUI. Nowadays, I will give you the uh, more detail about all the features or report from the uh, GUI and um, give you more detail and configuration how to configure that to make a call or to troubleshoot. Okay, in the later uh, training, I will give you one by one and uh, just to follow us and then um, check with from the uh, website. Okay, let's start. So if you access the, the GUI from the uh, digital gateway, digital gateway, you can see that, that in the first menu or top menu, you can see always got the report or status. So we always check here. If you first time you, you first time you install the, your uh, digital gateway, you may access your GUI, the device GUI. You can see that there are a lot of information on the list. We can see that the first one is uh, system information. System information in terms of like uh, general information and the hardware information or software information and so on. So here we can see the general instead we can see the, the CPU ID and CPU temperature and the user board CPU temperature and network cards G0, G1, and uh, DNS server, and so on, system information, system uptime, license, and so on. So we can also see that, that, that there are some versions in terms like the device version, device model, and hardware version, bootload version, software version, uh, time build for, for the versions, okay? So if you get the, uh, or maybe you face any issue, or want to get support, please always remember report back this information first. Okay. And the uh, second one under the system information, there's a DTU. Here I got the at least uh, DTU card because the, the our digital gateway designed by the modular design. So always got the cards. If you want more cards, you can plug in here. And here we got the DTU zero. Uh, it means to start maybe from one and uh, there's the uh, stator we can see the success uh, license temperature and so on on uh, DTU channels with how many channels you will use and so on and uh, here we also say the E1 or T1 status under the uh, DTU there are got maybe uh, how many ports so far we use maybe for example like DTU 0 we use uh, four ports here and uh, from zero to from uh, to, to three and uh, nowadays i pretty could connect to the uh, port zero to port one and configure as a pi so it's active already we can see the uh, the, the indication or uh, color is in blue already so we can see here also under the e1 tn channel stator they got the port numbers we got the d channels we use the d channel for signaling and uh, we also got the total channels so far we, because we use the two parts already so it's a 60 up to 60 channels and uh, we don't make a call yet and uh, we also use the signaling two channels here since we use the 60 channel and the port zero use the one uh, other one use the other channel so it's total is uh, two here because since the, we use the pi psd in uh, uh, link already so PR link already so we can see that actually under the PST trunk there are two different uh, link already the first one is a PI commonly we use for enterprise connection and the second one is SS7 and third one is R2 so far I think not many people to use R2 already so very often we use the PI or SS7 but most of people use the PI you now because see, we can see that uh, since we uh, connect the uh, parameter already, so the connection is uh, done already. You can see here, we use the uh, port 0 to connect to port 1. So it's a loop test for the, the stator is established already. And um, the data send, receive, data send, and receive, and so on. So it's normal already. And uh, other trunk is the IP trunk. IP trunk is uh, something like that. If you want to use a SIP or uh, connect to your PBS, connect to your SIP servers, you have to use uh, maybe the IP trunk to make a connection. Here we use the IP trunk. I set up the IP trunk ready. 
And uh, in this one, SIP registration status, you are interested to any remote site, we, we can see the, the data so here, but uh, so far we don't put yet. So there's FT information. Call info status. Call info status like um, uh, if you make a call, we can see always see the uh, uh, trunks, uh, source trunk or destination trunks and so on. Okay, same thing. If you make a call, maybe it's configured by PI. You or if you go to the PI port, uh, port zero, port one, then if you, the system will show the uh, uh, call data already. So so far we don't make a call yet. So saying so there is empty information and uh, so it's normal uh, channels and total channels, idle channels, and so on. Uh, SS7, same thing. If you configure the SS7 trunks, your office can see the you know, or check the cost data or call report here. R2 is the same thing also. And uh, if you all want to configure R2, you can you go to the make a call, go to R2 trunks, you will see the all the data here. Save cost, if you want to maybe call by the save trunks. You can see that there are a lot of the report or a lot of call, maybe the forbidden or now found or busy here and so on. So we can, can see the status and report. And uh, here, if you configure the radius, you want to connect to the maybe third party for radius support, you can see here. And then you always got the record from the radius. And uh, here we got a record that is takes here. Record the yeah, as if you want to make a call, call recording, then um, you maybe configure the uh, server sensor. So here we can see the old report if you config that. So this is uh, for the status and uh, report. So if you can see more about details, maybe later I will configure the uh, call routings and make a call testing, and we'll see the more about the data here. Um, but uh, so far, we, I, I will give you all the general information about the system information and the summer uh, settings to monitor your call, monitor your trunks, and so on. So thank you for watching. If you got any questions, your query always will come and follow us for Twitter or Twitter LinkedIn and so on. See you. Bye bye.